Hey, so um, this weekend I've been using this blast cabinet quite a bit. I'm doing a res restoration project on a compressor and I ran out of this window film that you put on these blast cabinets. And so you could see it becomes difficult because the plastic applique on the backside, it gets etched over time and it's on there to protect your glass. Anyway, I ran out of these and so I found a method for protecting that window and replacing the film that you can use in a pinch. It's probably not ideal. You probably don't always want to go like this, but it's something you could do quick and it's pretty cheap. I bought a box of this stuff. It's like a window film you can get at Home Depot and it costs about, I don't know, five bucks. And it comes with, I don't know, you could probably do one of these windows eight times with it. And so if you're in a pinch, you don't have time to wait for Amazon to deliver you new window screens, you could try this method. And I mean, it'll get you back on the road for a short time. And I'll show you how I went about doing it. I'm just gonna take this window frame off here so we can get the window out. So I'm gonna basically take all these fasteners as far as I can get with arm's reach. I think you can let, leave these last two and then these two um, all on and still get the window out. So anyway, I'll see what I can do here. Okay, so the, let's see if I can do it. Okay, so I'm just lift this up. Make sure I'll get out. And I think I can just slide this glass out. Obviously, you don't, probably don't want to torture it too much. Or you could... I already have a piece of this film on here. I've been using this. I've probably been out here for eight hours doing this, and I've had to change it one other time. So anyway, I'm just going to peel it off. Just like you do the other window films when they get old. Try to get the tape off too. You have this tool here, just use a regular razor blade and then they use these to clean cooktops. And I use it for all kinds of stuff like this, but I'm just gonna go around and make sure I got all the, the sticky off. Okay, I got a paper towel here. It's got denatured alcohol on it. So I'm just gonna wipe this down. Make sure I get all that residue off. Okay, and any oils or Anything that prevent it from sticking. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe back and forward both directions. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, you see, I've got some nasty dust off. I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side just to make sure I got it clean. Okay, so a little bit more there and I'm gonna take a clean paper towel now. to wipe it so that any remaining oil will kind of buff out. Okay, uh, this is the stuff I got. I got it at Home Depot. Actually, I got it at Lowe's. Um, if you use the app, you can search for it. It's called Frost King and Window Insulation Shrink Kit. And so this, the material in here is 42 by 62, and it, they give you three sheets. I, there was another one they had where it was a, a smaller, thinner film. This is the extra heavy duty. Um, so anyway, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what the film looks like, and it looks like it's not gonna work, right? It's just a kind of a thicker plastic material. Double stick tape uh, comes in the box. So I'm just gonna stick this on. I'm gonna run it a little bit over on the edge and just go all the way down and you can line it up. And then once you get it lined up, you can go back and cut it. Got my razor tool. I just run it all the way to the end. I'm gonna do these two ends. Long, I'm gonna leave a little bit of excess on the on the outside there. Cut it. Okay, now this to to fill this space in, I just butt that last piece that I cut and I roll it down. Okay, and then I take my razor blade. Okay, so I get it lined up and then glue it down. I'm gonna take my razor blade. I'm gonna line it up with that other piece of tape just like that, and then tear. Okay, so now that it's 100% all carried out all the way to the end, I'm gonna do this one. 
same way. Here, this got a little piece on it that rolled over, so I'm gonna cut this off. it up against this piece of tape here okay I'm gonna go just pull it out all the way to the end here okay just put this on like that and then I'm gonna tear it okay and then these little pieces here on the outside cut those off just get your razor like flush with the glass and then push, it's kind of at a diagonal and it comes right off. Okay, I'm just gonna take these edges and peel off the, the back. Get one. Oops, let me start this in. Helps to have fingernails a bit. Okay, here. Let me get that edge to come up. Okay, so now, let's take these, this plastic here. So I'm gonna, to avoid getting it stuck, I'm just going to stick this corner on first. Okay, now I'm going to line this edge up just like that. And I'm going to glue it down. And then I'm going to come over here. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay. Let me get that okay, let me, I'm going to do it long ways like this. So I'm gonna get this corner stuck. I'm gonna take this corner and put it all the way down here. And you, this is does not need to be as precise as you would think. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so I just take this and I'm going to pull it down over the top here. Okay, now it's all messed up still because it would be difficult to get it to go on without wrinkles. Okay, now I'm gonna take my blade again. I'm just gonna put it against this glass, the edge, and cut it. Just roll it past on the edge of the glass and cut it. It does not have to be straight or pretty. Just trying to get it to cut, to cut, to cut flush. Yeah, to get the right angle, so like, when you use a scissors, you can really, really cut easy. All right, now I got this heat gun. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the heat gun on, let it run, get it warmed up. Let's take a couple seconds. Okay, now watch. I'm gonna hit this surface. I'm just gonna go back and forth. Don't dwell in any area too much. And then the, it tightens up that film and all the wrinkles come out of it. And it goes on glass smooth. Just like that. See that? Okay, so now it's on there. There's a couple creases. I'm gonna focus on those for a second. Just go down where there was a fold in the plastic. Okay, I burned a little hole on it. It's like not really in the field of view. I dwelled too long in the area and it melted back. I'm just gonna put a piece of masking tape on it to keep the, um, the sand from getting through. All right, so. Anyway, I would redo this if it was like in a critical location, but it's not, so. Okay, so that'll, that'll do it. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on the sanding cabinet and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna put this in. Be careful when you're pushing on this that you don't cut yourself with the glass. I'm just gonna slide it in here. Line the frame back up, make sure you get it closed. Okay. We'll put the nuts back in. Let me go back. 
Okay. Okay, here's what that plastic looks like, looking through it. Sorry for the glare of my shop light. Uh, but it's pretty um, transparent. You get a good view in here. You kind of see what you're doing a little better, and it protects this glass. doesn't last as long as the regular film, but it works good enough uh, to get you through a couple hours, and it really works in a pinch. Anyway, uh, this is like a little tip I had to figure out this weekend to get like get me on the road and so I could do some work on in this glass cabinet. And so um, I imagine, I looked around at several stores, uh, Home Depot, Harbor Freight, Lowe's, Northern Tool, and a couple others, and I was not able to find that film anywhere locally in stock on a Saturday. Um, so it's something you could do in a pinch to kind of, um, you know, make it so you can do some work. Anyway, um, just a little tip. Appreciate it.